Hello everyone, I am Vinod and in this video we are going to see how we can implement Deckers and Peterson algorithm on a operating system XP6. So first we see what are the objectives in this video here that we have. So first we objective have so how can we implement the efficiently Deckers and Peterson algorithm on operating system and and we also explore some more interesting things about the operating system xv6 so xv6 is uh, a uh, modern implementation of the 6 edition unix in an sic that has been developed by uh, mit uh, and we, the purpose was to teaching but the, after that it it is it was a very good uh, operating system so it has been made public so uh, the beauty is also that we can add new features inside this we need to just follow some steps which, which is not, not a part of our video so this operating system is totally based on the C language and there are some inbuilt and modified accordingly our uh, our functionality function uh, it, uh, it has also some system call function which, is, which has been modified further and has some limited number of data types we can see the um, we can see the the operating system uh, this is a xv6 public inside this all the files are in C which is written and there are some useful files like uh, we can check uh, um, user.h user.h inside this the all the system calls which has been modified has been written over like for exit and make directory and some ulib.c file has some function and also has some uh, some another dot h files that state dot h and the types dot h inside that types dot h we have we have defined the uh, data types like character u character u int this is a limited uh, data type so we can have to we have, we'll have to use those data types to implement our algorithm so let's talk about our the our algorithm Deckers and Peterson so so we skip this part in Deckers algorithm uh, why the Deckers algorithm is more important the Deckers algorithm and the Peters algorithm which is a uh, almost similar they are though both always try to avoid deadlock condition or live lock condition we can learn this lab, live lock and deadlock condition using this picture like in this picture every process is waiting for another like so we can't uh, process further so we need to avoid or eliminate those the condition which is which are required for deadlock so we need to follow some rules and the, 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 that time the Decker and Peterson comes in the picture. In the Decker algorithm, we use two variables, flag, which is flag, which is a, uh, we may uh, write in a top, and the another is turn. The flag that has been used to use the critical state condition. In the critical state condition is that in which the both the many processes use the same variable which is a uh, universal like in this case say maybe uh, x or y so but we need to have some kind of ways we, so we can avoid those those processes to work on the same variable at a time so we use a flag to avoid those conditions and turn to have some priority in the processes and that's how we manage to uh, avoid deadlock condition or live lock condition here in in this in this part process begin p0 and p1 we just write directly write par begin but in when we implement on the xv6 we don't have a that much facility so we have to use p create p thread create and p thread join for parallel process but we don't have also p thread create and p thread join so we need to have some kind of uh, library which gives the p create and p create cre join function 
so we have taken from the internet we have so uh, that is here p3.c i am also giving this link in uh, my description so don't not to worry so in the next come to our lecture so peterson algorithm uh, in the decker's algorithm we have seen the uh, seen some complex code but in the peterson it has been written in very in a correct way so that we can um, understand very easily it has been it has merged the, all the condition in the while like flag one and turn and same goes to p0 and p1 so both are the similar uh, almost same but when we implement in uh, xv6 we need to have a uh, process process that have that are going to be parallel we use p thread and p create using this semantics and and say syntax so but it seems very easy when we when we write a process we can p0 join p1 but when we implement p thread create and p thread join that is very hard step of our implementation so but algorithm part is a important part because it is a basis or base of the, this video but the this is very easy to implement so i have a video video youtube video link and some differences over there i hope you enjoy this video thank you